We started this voice from a workshop on web accessibility in Islamabad, inviting persons with disability to inform us on their accessibility requirements, identify challenges, and also highlight the barriers that limit them from interacting with the internet and the World Wide Web in Pakistan. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have a brilliant group of experts taking part not only as the participants, but also as the speakers and panelists. And I think this approach of giving the stage to the actual user worked well and it unlocked many prospects for us to expand our ICT accessibility work in Pakistan. With some estimates of around 12 to 15 percent of population of persons with disabilities, this is the high time that we explore both human rights as well as the business perspective of improving ICT accessibility in Pakistan. I was invited in one of the special workshops where my task was to check top 100 local websites uh, to see that all of these websites were accessible for the disabled persons. But unfortunately more than 75% of the websites were inaccessible and missing the main web accessibility features. The finest part of our journey is the unconditional support provided by Pakistan Communication Authority and Ministry of IT. The higher ups or the higher management of both organizations are very welcoming. They are always encouraged to discuss different ideas and or in, the, practically demonstrate to uh, implement these ideas. As an immediate first step, Ministry updated its website to be PWD friendly and is working with stakeholders on making the remaining government portals accessible as well. We also engaged with the broader PWD community members in groups as part of our consultation process for the upcoming IT policy 2016-17. It is going to be the first time that an IT policy will cater to the PWD needs based upon the feedback received directly from them. It was an extremely fulfilling experience for all of us and we hope to keep this collaboration going forward in removing all barriers for persons with disabilities so they can equally reap the benefits of the digital revolution that Pakistan is going through at the moment. Uh, we came across uh, the, uh, this group of persons with disability through a workshop that was organized by, by ISOC along with uh, a few other partners. Uh, and from there we learned a lot the issues that are faced by uh, the persons with disabilities. Together with the Ministry of IT we decided that we need to make the internet more accessible uh, for the persons with disabilities starting with our own websites which for most part is uh, accessible for the persons with disabilities. This whole process and this interaction during this interaction I met uh, many people with disabilities and we learned a lot. So at PTA we also I looked at the building and we didn't have a ramp, so we, the first thing that we did was to have a ramp at PTA. We have, uh, we have this obligation that we need to bring everyone uh, together so that they can, uh, can use the internet, they can take benefit, they can learn and they can be a productive citizen of this uh, society. Being a computer student, I always inspired to learn and increase my knowledge about web accessibility. Ministry of IT has provided us an excellent opportunity to make all the government websites accessible for people with disabilities. We had several meetings at Ministry Office and National IT Board with webmasters, devising an incremental approach to implement the web accessibility standards and guidelines. Uh, policies make a larger impact in the lives of nations and communities. In this context, we as an ICT accessibility working group work in close collaboration with Ministry of IT on uh, the upcoming national IT policy. So we recommended a set of guidelines and recommendations that address the needs and requirements of persons with disabilities related to information and communication technologies. It shows the dedication and commitment of our government institutions and civil society to address the needs and requirements of persons with disability through policy related measures. One of many ideas that came out of meetings and discussions with Pakistan Telecom Authority was to build capacity of human resources in terms of accessibility for persons with disabilities and solutions and issues. One of the immediate audience that was identified for this were university students and app developers. 
We connected the same drive of capacity building with Pakistan Mobile Application Awards 2016. We approached a National ICT R&D Fund with the proposal and fortunately we were facilitated nicely and timely. While we were working with ICT R&D Fund, Bahriya University requested to organize a workshop related to web and mobile accessibility. We organized that workshop and managed to get the stakeholder interaction between these workshops. To be honest, uh, we were a bit nervous on these workshops, especially for the Peshawar one and the Koita one, uh, because these two cities are not uh, ranked very high in the list of local IT markets and mobile application development workforce. Um, but attendees from both these cities uh, gave us a great surprise uh, from their engagement, deliberations and ideas. Apart from building capacity and awareness on mobile accessibility, I think one of the key highlights of these workshops is the connection between persons with disabilities and these young developers from all across Pakistan. We are excited to be part of this initiative with the ICT Accessibility Working Group. It is really heartwarming to see some of the applications they've been able to develop which should help persons with disabilities uh, in our country. So for the next step, we are looking at a spread uh, and, uh, of these applications and uh, with people uh, with disability using them and benefiting from them and also in one case to develop the next version of the application. So we're excited to be part of this going forward as well. Well, the, the issue with app development is it's a fantastic journey in terms of bridging the digital exclusion of people. So you can actually bring everybody to the main field. I still recall uh, the inventor of the internet, uh, Sir Tim Bernard Lee, he once said that the, the power of the web is its universality. So when you talk about something universal, it's really about making it accessible for everyone. We need to come up with something which is both radical and robust in terms of giving our young developers the right tools and the frameworks whereby they can develop something which is really fantastic both for people with disabilities and for the general public at large. Mostly mobile application developers are not even familiar with the best ways to use universal design practices that will make their product more accessible. One of the key messages that we tried to deliver was the business case. If you ignore the accessibility standards while developing the applications, you are actually losing the 10 to 15 percent of Pakistani market that translates into more than 30 million potential customers. After each workshop, new ideas were flowing into the Pakistan Mobile App Award, realizing that it will be difficult for the applicants to validate and test their application functions. The group attached a person with disability as a mentor with each proposal. We had face-to-face -face discussion, also remote calls, to make sure that their application development process is facilitated. By the deadline, we received more than 30 application ideas, and these numbers were not fewer, especially knowing that we asked only for those applications that could assist persons with disabilities. These application proposals were for all disability groups, including visual, hearing, cognitive, and physical impairment. Our evaluation criteria was based on multiple factors, including uniqueness in idea for local market, solution fit, functionality and features, sustainability and quality of application. We did multiple rounds of evaluations to make sure that we are able to select the best application. We are the expert of the ICT working group and this is our journey so far. We are really thankful to all uh, the members who have joined us and contributed us to the uh, networking and also the discussions on the mailing list. And we welcome all of you, the new members, who can join our journey through the networking and also the members list. And our ultimate goal of having this group is to provide the accessibility by following the universal declaration and their principles. Together we can, together we will.